Welcome back to AIPRM Tutorials. Today, I'm going to walk you through one of the most exciting dynamic features on the Elite Plan or higher, live crawling. If you use ChatGPT, you know OpenAI has given access to the internet and then taken it away. It's not always reliable. And even when we've had access to the Bing version of ChatGPT, it doesn't give you the control over the specific URL that you want. Well, with live crawling, you can actually provide a specific URL and get that text crawled and then injected as a pre-training into your prompt. So you, in essence, have really cool internet access for ChatGPT. If you want to learn more about how that works, we actually have an episode on live crawling and retrieval augmentation on Friday I in our YouTube channel. But for live crawling, I want to walk you through three specific examples of how cool this feature is, and then ultimately how you can actually build these types of prompts yourself to use internet content over and over and over again. So. Looking at the website, we're going to jump over to ChatGPT. The first example is summarize an article. So in essence, what it's going to do is we're going to summarize an article using live crawling of a URL, get the summary, the top bullet points, and a couple of statistics. Really helpful if you do any sort of curation or if you need to read something real quickly and you know that it's actually pulling real information from the website in the moment so it's less likely to hallucinate. So in this example, we're going to go to a simple blog post. That's how to tell if your fuse is blown. So if you are, you know, a home service professional and you're writing blog posts and you want to, you know, share it with one of, you know, in an email or something, you could use this post to generate that output. Or if you need to learn something really quick, but you don't have time to read the entire thing. This is a use case. So we'll go through it. We've got the, the URL right in there. You can see now if you want to change the output, remember with custom tones and writing styles, you can always add those on our paid plans, but I'm just going to press enter and we're going to see what is produced. So you can see now that in the green, like kind of message bar at the top, it's telling us that it actually crawled the website and the contents. And here we go. We're getting this really nice article titled how to tell if your fuse is blown and how to fix it with that summary. Then we're getting the three most important points according to the analysis from ChatGPT. So we've got like signs of a blown fuse, we've got safety precautions, we've got types of fuses. This is really helpful information that breaks it down. And we can look at the article and see signs of a blown fuse, safety precautions. Let's see. Signs your fuse is blown. Boom. Okay. Safety considerations. Boom. So this is everything that we were looking for is in the output of the chat GPT based on the live crawling prompt. What's next? Okay, so I'm really proud. I actually wrote this prompt and it is live and available publicly. But, you know, if you have written this great article, one of the best ways to share it is on social media. Now, at the time of this recording, Twitter is X, X is Twitter, whatever. But this helps you create really cool threads based on the text of an article that you've written. So in this example, I pulled this article from um, the healthcare publishing website, Healthline, right? 11 tips to get rid of a cold faster. And so what we have in this prompt, and you can check out our tutorial on variables, but we have two variables. So I filled in that I want seven thread posts, and then I actually put the handle because at the end of this thread, it's going to have a call to action that includes a link to the blog post and the handle for the person that you want attributed to the, the Twitter thread. So let's see what happens when we do this one. And so this was one was cool because I kind of tried to format it. So it had a great hook at the beginning that we've got a bunch of bullet points that we do use some hashtags where appropriate, where we do use, you know, some emojis where appropriate, try not to overdo it. And actually with any output from chat GPT, you're always going to want to check. You're going to want to make edits. You know, it tells it to go, you know, no longer than the 280 characters for a non blue Twitter X version. Um, sometimes it will go over, but for the most part, it's pretty on point. So you can see in this last uh, CTA, it has the Healthline um, handle, and then it has a link to the website with a hashtag. 
How easy is that? That was done in like two minutes for a pretty long post. So a really effective prompt to deliver these cool Twitter threads. And maybe you just go in and you add some images to each of these, but ultimately that saved you a ton of time. And it's really helpful, actual information pulled right from your blog post. Okay, let's go to the third example. And I'm super proud of this one as well. So this one is analyzing your homepage brand and messaging. So in essence, what it does, you provide the, tw the URL of a homepage and it generates a detailed analysis that includes a summary of your brand voice and positioning. It's perfect for your own brand development, like getting advice on your own homepage, or if you're doing any sort of competitor analysis and want to get a sense of their copy, their brand voice, writing style, so I hope Max is okay with it, but I used Max Loma, Lomas. Uh, he's a real estate professional agent, really nice looking website. He's got a bunch of copy on there, up and down. So we are going to use this prompt on his website. And I even included a variable for real estate for the industry. So ChatGPT just has that much more information if it's not clear from the copy. So let's check out this prompt. Okay, so you can see from the green message, alert that it is crawling and now it's going into Max's site. So it starts off with this executive summary telling that he's a listing specialist under the Remax brand, accurate, the tone is confident, experienced and professional, emphasizing the ease guides and advanced marketing strategies he offers, very nice. Now it points out three unique elements that he's written, that he has over $350 million in sales, over 1500 families. Let's make sure that's accurate. Let's go back up to the top here, right? So sold over a thousand. Okay. So that's pretty close. And then, um, yep. 1500 ha happy customers. There it is. Okay. So pretty cool. Then it goes into, um, some of the improvements that you can make. So adding a personal story or background can make the brand more relatable to potential clients, humanizing visual aids, adding more clear CTAs. He can improve those. The brand voice is confident, expert, assuring, and then it, it tells you the similar brands and tone. So how helpful this is for anyone who's either trying to improve the copy on their own brand or trying to look at competitors. Now, remember, this is just looking at the text. It doesn't look at the images. I tested this a few times and it's really interesting because sometimes it'll make a recommendation for adding an image and then I'll see on the website that they have it. I'm like, bam, this website is on it. So there you can see the value of live crawling. Now, in order to build your own live crawling prompts, there's a couple of key components. When I do this and I open up and I'll show you behind the scenes of my analyze homepage brand and messaging prompt. If I click on this, edit this prompt, which is available to only your prompts that you've created, you can see what I put in here. So my variables and whatnot. So I'll make this a little bit bigger. Okay. So we can see act as a brand specialist industry in the variable, that's how I'm using variables. Like I said, check out the variables tutorial. And then it says, analyze the tone, writing style and positioning of the homepage from the following website prompt. So that's gonna be the URL that's put in that AI PRM is then gonna crawl, grab the text and inject into the prompt to do this analysis or any live crawling feature. Now the key is, at the end of the prompt or in the middle, towards the end of the prompt, I use this crawled text. The crawled text is what's going to allow AI PRM to go get the text from your URL. You can also do crawled source to get the actual source code if you're using this for coding purposes. But for most of us who are using this for maybe marketing um, copy or sales copy or anything like that, you could get the crawled text. Now think about sales copy. What if you have for your homepage, you wanna build a prompt that crawls your homepage for sales copy or a services page. That's a really easy prompt to create using the crawl text and then making sure that the prompt is for the URL, right? So there it is. Now, one key factor when it comes to creating these prompts, if you do want to make it public, the only other major consideration is that you add this target language because with AIPRM, you need your prompts to be accessible to anyone in any language. It's universal, right? So it needs to have all capital letters in between the brackets with target language, no space. Same with prompt needs bracket, prompt, bracket, all capital letters. And then finally for crawl text or crawled source, bracket, crawled text, no space, all capitals, bracket. 
There you go. That's how you use live crawling with AIPRM. If you have any questions, come over to our site. You can see the step-by-step -step walkthrough. Um, you can access these specific prompts if you want to try them out for yourself. It's on the Elite plan, but it is a really cool feature that just elevates ChatGPT, and you can do some really cool things with it. Thanks for watching.